first race of the weekend for the International GT Open. Always promised to be spectacular, and so it proved. Pole sitter Isaac Tatumlu moving to the Salsat Racing Team for this weekend, led the pack away as they poured into Turn 1. Second place was Roman Mavlanov ahead of Andrea Montermini, and Miguel Ramos as behind Rashidov Manev was tipped into a spin, and Francesco Castellacci unfortunately received the collateral damage. Aliyev, though, recovering well, although a little bit robust in his attempts to move ahead of Luis Silva. Well, in the early running, Montermini quickly dispensed with Mavlanov, who then had to fight hard for third place, ahead of a charging Stefano Gattuso. Gattuso eventually sliding through at the hairpin in Turn 5, as Mavlanov appeared to be struggling with a car whose handling was going away from him. Dietrich Shitov was having a fine drive until that contact with Paolo Ruberti pitched the Italian into a spin and it would eventually result in a drive-through penalty for Shitov. Miguel Ramos tried every which way to squeeze past Mavlanov. The Russian driver was certainly not lacking in commitment. Some very brave defensive manoeuvres to keep Ramos and Shitov at bay. Try and try again it was for... Miguel Ramos, another look at this brave move into Turn 15. Mavlanov covering the line late in the day. Well, Shitov was able to sneak past teammate Ramos, and then that manoeuvre on Mavlanov took him up into third position, albeit momentarily, pending that drive-through penalty. So Mavlanov was dancing on the edge. Still, though, he kept Ramos behind him. For whatever reason, the V8 Racing Corbett and Miguel Ramos and Nicky Pastorelli didn't seem to be working its very best today. And Pastorelli, although he took over from Ramos early in the pit stop window, still was struggling for outright pace. Because after the pit stops had sorted themselves out, Pastorelli was right in pursuit of Daniel Zampieri, who had taken over from Mavlanov. So here are the pit stops then. And Ramos, as ever, in fairly early to hand over to Pastorelli. Trying to give Pastorelli the best opportunity to jump a couple of cars through the pit stop sequence. All the while, though, out front, Isaac Tatumlu was in perfect command, looking like a veteran in the Corvette. In reality, though, this was his debut performance. Pastorelli soon found himself thrust into the midst of the traffic as Tatumlu pitted midway through the pit window to pass over to Nürburgring Race 2 winner Maxime Soule. It's a seamless pit stop for the Salasac squad. When they rejoined, it was behind Niccolò Shiro in the Valorba course Ferrari. Pastorelli was on a charge as ever, trying to get as much ground as possible. Satya Patel and Mario Cordoni found themselves post pit stop doing battle for lead in the GTS class. All the while they're being closed in on by the car. Back of your picture, that of Stefano Constantini. This move, however, into Turn 1 was sufficient to give the Indian driver, Patel, the lead in the GCS class. How long for, though, would remain to be seen. The answer was not very long, because Tuano Constantini jumped through the textbook manoeuvre into the hairpin at Turn 5, and that was sufficient to take the lead of the GTS class. The battle for the lead of the race was between Niccolò Shiro and Maxime Soule, and that was the decisive manoeuvre allowed Soule to romp 13 seconds off into the distance to score victory. Pastorelli and Zampieri had a fine battle. It was decided in favour of Nicky Pastorelli with that manoeuvre into Turn 1. A couple of laps later, he did much the same thing to Stefano Constantini, and that put Pastorelli and Ramos to third place in the race overall. It was a fantastic day, though, for the Salasat Racing team. Maxime Soule and Isaac Tatumlu, they scored their second victory of the season. It was Tatumlu's first ever win in the International GT Open in his debut performance. In the GTS class, it was Stefano Constantini and Alan Sikart who were victorious from Shtav Melev and Jose perez Icart, with third going to Giorgio Roda and Paolo Ruberti. We're joined now on Most Sports Night by one of the top British drivers in the International GT Open Championship, and that's Archie Hamilton for the V8 Racing Corvette team. 
Archie, what attracted you to the GT Open? Well, it's a, it's a great championship. It's something I looked into for a long time. Um, I did Porsche Carrera Cup in England and Formula Renault, and it was just something which attracted me. It brings the best drivers to the series, and uh, I always want to compete against the best, so um, it, it, it was just a perfect fit. And you come from a very famous family of sports car racing, because, of course, your grandfather won the more back in the 1950s, and you're racing there next week. Yeah, I'm racing at Le Mans 24 Hours with uh, Ram Racing, uh, with my teammate Johnny Molam and uh, Mark Patterson. It's fantastic to get the chance to race there again, and uh, we're in the GTM class, so hopefully we can get a good result, and uh, I'm confident we can do. And turning your attention to this weekend, what are you aiming for in terms of results here in Portimao? Uh, well, we're in the GT1 spec car, so it's a little bit down on power to the GT2 spec, but um, yeah, we're, if we can get a podium, that'd be a good result, but we're just chipping away, learning a lot about the car, and uh, yeah, if we can get a podium this weekend, that'd be a good result. Excellent, well, very best of luck. So that's Archie Hamilton speaking to us on Motorsport tonight from Portimao. As we prepare for the races this weekend here in the International GT Open at Portimao, joined by our pole sitter for race one, Isaac Tatumlu. And Isaac, your first time out in the Corvette, and you put it on pole. Yeah, it's, it's a great car, this car, the Corvette. It's so good to race and compared to the Porsche, Porsche is also a really good car, but it's much difficult to drive and to set up. And the team, SRT, they, they know really well how to prepare the car, how to set it up. My teammate, Maxime Soulet, he helped me a lot. And first race, we are on board, so I'm really happy. This is what I was looking for. Uh, and the Corvette is a very different car. It's so quick in the straight line. Yeah, it's so quick on the straight line, and also in the braking point, it's so good. And now with the ABS, it's a really proper ABS. And all the car is really a racing car. It's a GT2, and uh, we have the support also from Corvette Racing, so we are on the best, on the best team. And how do you enjoy racing at this Portimao circuit? I love Portimao, I love the ambience in the area and Dalgarve, and it's my third time already here, and racing here is like being in a roller coaster, so it's really, really funny, and, and I, I hope I can go more times in the future. And so looking ahead, can you now push for the championship? Sorry? Can you now push for the championship? Yeah, we have to push. Maxim is in the first position, I want to finish second, and I also want to fight for the team to win the championship. That's my, my, my main aim from this year. Well, very best of luck for the rest of the weekend. Sorry? Best of luck for the rest of the weekend. Thank you very much. Thank you for the support. Thank you. So that's Isaac Tatumlu, our pole sitter for race one here in Portimao.